Let's make an easy to make Easter gift. I'm going to show you how to sew a bunny pillow. I make videos every single Wednesday. I have over 300 videos on my channel, so don't forget to subscribe. Let's start to make our easy to make Easter gift and we're going to sew this bunny pillow. But before we get sewing the actual bunny onto the pillow, we need the front base of the actual bunny pillow. So what I have done is I've got some gingham and I've got some white fabric and I've done my measurements to match this particular pillow so this pillow is 15 inches by 15 inches and i like to go one inch bigger so whenever i do any of my measurements they're going to be 16 inches by 16 inches so i'm basically going to be alternating between the white and the gingham fabrics and i'm going to lay them down like this and I'll let you know how many we need to sew a bunny pillow. So you are going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight strips, 16 inches in length by the two and a half inches. We're going to take it over to the sewing machine and we are going to alternate the sewing. So I'm just going to put one strip on top of the other like so. And then we are going to do right sides to right sides. So obviously this is the only fabric that I've got. It's going to be right sides out. And I am going to sew all the way along here a quarter of an inch. So if you are a beginner sewer, this is a easy to make Easter gift to give somebody. I am not paid or sponsored to create this video. I work using my Baby Lock Soprano sewing machine. In the needle today, we are going to be using the 9014 sewing needle, which is a Microtex needle. And in the bobbin, I'm going to have some white polyester thread. We are going to do a switcheroo on the sewing foot because I do like to use this quarter inch foot with a guide. It helps me get my quarter of an inch perfect every single time. And in the top of my Baby Lock Soprano here, we are going to have some white polyester, regular sewing thread. And here are my settings on my Baby Lock Soprano sewing machine. And I'm going to keep my pivot key on. That raises my presser for every time i press accelerator so i don't have to go behind here it's basically like a hands-free sewing machine every time i stop on my foot accelerator this will go up and down so let's first concentrate on sewing the front of our bunny pillow down so like i said we have got right sides together so if you have two fabrics with patterns on it you're going to put them right sides together and then you are going to start sewing your strips of your bunny pillow into place it's up to you you can stop after each piece and you can press each piece down i am going to save some time and i'm going to get my next strip and i am going to sew it into place with the next section so it's going to be gingham white gingham white gingham white all the way down until we've got all of the strips sewn now it's time for me to press this out and i always press from the reverse of our project and typically you press to the darker side of the fabric. So if you've got a white section, you kind of want to press over to the pink because it will show over more on the white section. So we're just going to press every single strip. After pressing this out, I've realized that I'm about a quarter of an inch short of the 16. So I'm going to put another white strip at the top here and then I'll cut it down to the 16 by 16. The front of my pillow is now 16 by 16. Now it's up to you if you want it to go this way or you want it to go this way. I'm going to have it going this way and I'm going to do the next part and put the bunnies on the pillow. I'm going to have two bunny rabbits on the front of my pillow and they are going to be grey. I'm going to prepare this at fabric. I have pressed it. I'm also going to use this product called Heat and Bond Light. One side is a paper and the other side is adhesive. So I'm going to cut this to the size of the fabric, read the instructions and then press to the wrong side of the fabric. This helps to applique our bunnies to the Easter pillow. 
I have a couple of bunnies that I found off the Cricut Maker software. So I've got the machine to cut this out. You can also do this freehand by drawing some bunny silhouettes. And then you'll have a couple of bunnies that you can put on your pillow. I'm going to use my Cricut Maker as it's the most easiest thing to do. I am going to use my 12 by 12 mat and I'm going to put it with the heat and bond side down and the fabric facing up. I'm going to press this all the way down. You generally don't need a tool for pressing down the fabric. It, it will stick to the mat pretty good. I have sent the design over to my Cricut Maker and it will now start cutting the bunnies for my bunny pillow. Before you take it off the machine, just double check that it's cut all the way through them layers, both the heat and bond layer as well as the fabric layer, and it has done. So I can easily take this now off the machine. You can find the centre of your pillow by folding it in half and then folding it in half again, or you can just eyeball it and just place your bunnies where you think they should be on your pillow. You just don't want them to be too much near the end seams of your pillow, so make sure they're away from the seam of the pillow. Once you are committed, you can press these guys into place. They will stick with that adhesive. Once again, just read the instructions for how long you have to press for. Now let's work on the back of this bunny pillow. For the back of the pillow, I always like to use a canvas fabric because it offers a load of stability to your pillow. And basically I am going to do a hem on two sides of this. You're just going to fold it over once, you're going to fold it over for a second time, and you're going to press that. And you're going to do that to two sections just on the one side. So now you've got the right side with the two bunnies on the pillow. And you are going to place one of your sections face down. It depends. This could be a feature here, this ridge. Actually, I'm going to do it that way. So I'm going to put that face down. I'm going to do the other one face down. So you basically have a lap over with these two and they're measuring at about like a four inch overlap now you're going to clip wonder clips all the way around the pillow so you can keep everything into place if you have little bits that are overhanging here you can cut these off and just tidy it up and then what we're going to do now is sew all the way around if you have a serger great use the serger to do the rest of this bit if you have a sewing machine just sew all the way around the pillow once that part is complete you can then turn the pillow right sides out and don't forget just to poke out the corners nicely Don't forget to press everything down. And this is all very cute, but there's definitely something missing. And I'm gonna have to turn my hot glue on for. We are in definite need of some cute fluffy tails. So I'm just gonna glue them on. I'm also going to glue a bow in her hair and a little bow tie 
for my other bunny. I have over 300 videos on my sewing channel, so don't forget to subscribe. I have lots of quilting and sewing tutorials. Thank you for watching. Bye.